hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you are notified of when we upload new video content, which is always going to be on a regular basis, but on the first of you, first to like, first to comment, first to share, and all that good stuff there. Okay, so basically this is a review on Killer Kud's mixtape, or it was the album, I don't know, it's a project anyway, and it's called Nasty, and the artwork is very impressive. I like his artwork. Um, it's got like a, a skull in the middle. The background in general is orange. Um, and then, yeah, it looks like a skull. It's very interesting. And at the bottom of it, Wait, is he just is he sound of disturbing London? Oh raw. He is, you know. Mad. Um cause the skull is kind of similar to it. Then I saw the logo, I was like, raw. Alright, so yeah, I like what he's doing. But yeah, the artwork, um, let's get back to that. So yeah, it's like houses or something like that. Like um, yeah. But anyway, dope artwork, dope, dope artwork. Um, there's like 10 tracks on the, on the, on the project. So let's just get into it. There's majestic, Majestical, there's Big Up, then there's Feeling Good, then there's Motive, then there's No Pride, then there's uh, Tasty Time featuring Tanika, then there's One Again featuring JK, then there's Ye Ye Rhythm, then there's Flex, X6, then there's Red Flag featuring Chip. Um, so there's not that many features, there's only like three features. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get into the rating of the, the, the project later. As usual, you know what I do? I basically dissect one track, um, and whether it's in context or out of context, I do what I gotta do. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, feeling good because you know what? As human beings, we like to feel good. And especially in dating and relationship settings, we want to feel good, right? We don't want to feel out of, way, out of way, out of place. You understand? So what tends to happen is if you put yourself in it, like put it this way, if you have expectations and then certain people don't meet your expectations, what tends to happen? You end up not feeling good because at the end of the day, you feel like you wasted time with that person. But it's about experience, developing experience. Like you got to think about that. But one thing I recommend, yeah, is if you're a man watching this, forget your feelings. Like I'm being real with you. Forget your feelings. Forget about feeling good. Just develop yourself as a thoroughbred alpha male, right? When you develop yourself as a pure thoroughbred alpha male, what's going to happen is you are naturally going to attract women that are going to do everything possible to make you feel good. Trust yourself in this. And if you're a woman watching this, okay, I get it. You want a man to make you feel good. But the reality is this. You have to understand your role as a woman, yeah, in dating and relationships. Your role is to serve men. That's just the way nature is. Whether you like it or not, oh well. Yeah? So, these traits of you serving women, serving, women, serving men... Is actually within you in any way. Yeah. You can't hide it. Because sooner or later. It's going to come out of you. But it's about developing that now. Developing the traits of a pure feminine woman. So you don't waste as much time. With the wrong guys. Yeah. So if you click the link in the description box below. Where it says become a member of the Akibudan Trust. You will get access to online courses. Such as roles and relationships. That's when you're going to learn how to develop yourself. To become a pure feminine woman if you're a woman watching this yeah and you'll learn exactly what your role is as a woman in dating and relationships and if you're a man watching this you will learn how to develop yourself further as a pure thoroughbred alpha male yeah and you'll learn how what your role is as a man in a dating and relationship settings yeah so yeah 
that's basically it. And also, the link to the project to Nasty by Kudakuds is in the description box below. I'm gonna give it like a nine and a half out of ten. And um, so yeah, I fully you rate what Kudakuds is doing. He's really doing his thing in the scene. Get me? I'm expecting big things from him this year. So, get me? Um, also, also, there's one thing I'm gonna mention. I forgot what it was. I can't remember what I'm gonna mention. But anyway, if you've got any suggestions, any topics, any reviews you want us to do, leave it in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.